guys hope you are great so basically thapar university has released its final and last round of counseling list basically on the basis of 10 plus 2 basically 12th board marks and they have displayed the cutoffs for third round of counseling and and from now onwards all the rounds of counseling will be on the basis of je mains only but most of the seats has been filled through 10 plus 2 boards only so i'll be discussing the cutoffs and the criteria and how you can just take admission if you haven't taken and also i'll be discussing all the things that they have mentioned in the pdf so yeah just continue watching also if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe as we are near 2000 subscribers and let's just reach the milestone soon and i'll be hosting a live session also after 1000 subscribers so you can just ask all your doubts related to thapa university like hostel fees and all that related to any hostel or admission or basically curriculum related queries so you can just ask that so make sure you subscribe to the channel and yeah let's just go to the pdf now so guys this is the pdf that they have released and you can just see that there is it at 6 september and you can also see they have written that this was the last round of counseling on the basis of 10 plus 2 pcm merit and all the seats have been filled basically most of the seats have been filled through boards only and from now onwards the remaining seats will be filled after j mains result has been declared and on the basis of j mains ranks only they will be filled and they have also given the option to change your preference order if you want to change your order basically because many of the people were worried about their preference order because because many of the people just filled wrong preference order so ultimately they gave an option to change the preference order which is a good part from them and yeah you can just change your preference order from 8 september and these are the cutoffs so basically copc has 98 only which is similar i just told that after second order of counseling the cutoff just remains same only and you can just see that coe also has 96 this is for outside punjab and cobs has 96.667 i don't understand why it has higher cutoffs compared to coe basically maybe because of seats because cobs i think only has around 60 seats and coe around 780 seats so yeah that might be a reason and you can just see other cutoffs as well ec 94.667 so basically if you are from outside punjab you can just see that main branches have cutoffs greater than 90 only and although there are some branches that have cutoffs 88 for for example mechanical has these cutoffs and you can just see that chemical has 85 and biomedical 81 so yeah, these are the cutoffs and this is the tiebreaker percentile basically these are used to just break the tie if two persons are get if two people are getting the same percentage on the boards and yeah, that's it so coming to Punjab, of course, there is a huge difference in cutoffs. All the computer science has 96 and it has, and for outside it was 98, but for Punjab it has 96. So there is not much difference, but for COE it's 89.667. So it hasn't changed, which means most of the people or basically all of the people just accepted the seats, which they were offered. So that's why cutoff is quite higher compared to last year. So yeah, that's it. And other branches have cutoffs like okay ec has 77 cut off man that's just a huge difference compared to outside punjab so if you're from punjab you might get a lot of benefit and yeah that's it these are the tiebreaker percentiles and yeah these are the cutoffs you can just see that biomedical has 70 only and cobs has 92 so yeah that's it i will be sharing the pdf in the description as well so if you are not able to find it you can just download it, download it from there as well so yeah that's it now let's just see the notes so most of you were not able to basically many of you basically many of you were not able to just check your branch after logging in so you can just use this link only you can just log in through web kiosk so you can just log in through web kiosk and you can just use this link that they have provided in the pdf and you can just log in and check your branch and if you're not able to see you can just contact them in case of any discrepancy or any tech issue I know web kiosk is not a great site of course it looks like a 200 year old website but that's all man but of course we have to deal with it we also deal with it every day and yeah that's it it just troubles a lot and you can just see that only the candidates who have been allocated the branch in third round of counseling will be able to log in and check the branch of course that's true and and of course you should fill all the criteria of admission and and these are the basic and they have also written the mail so you can just contact them in case of any trouble that you are facing so you can just read it 
so these are the type it is similar to j mains only so person having high marks in mathematics will be considered at a higher position and thereafter physics chemistry and then english and candidates older in page and then the candidates older in age will be preferred and basically the candidates who have been allocated branch in this basically in third round of counseling only so they have to pay the fees before 15 september 2021 and also if there is any differential amount that you have to pay basically this means that basically computer branches have higher fees compared to other branches so so for example if your branch is upgraded from mechanical to computer science so basically there will be a higher fees for computer science compared to mechanical so you might have to pay some extra amount on the amount that you paid in last round of counseling so that's the meaning of differential fees so yeah that's it and candidates who have been offered admission in the program in DIT can make a fee payment so these are the details for fee payment and that's it and of course if you are satisfied with your branch you can just fix your branch basically you can just freeze your branch if they have given the option so they they might have given the option of freezing the branch or fixing the branch so you can just fix if you want and if you want to just withdraw your branch or withdraw your admission you can just click on the withdraw option after logging in and they have written that they will be refunding all the amount after two months within two months of raising refund request and you can just and if you have any doubt regarding the refund criteria you can just look at their pdf they have given in the info so yeah that's it regarding the counseling so after this round of counseling basically all the cons all the admissions will be through j mains only so so basically you will also be considered for j mains counseling so basically if you get a higher branch on the basis of your j mains score so basically your branch might get upgraded as well and they will release the j mains cutoff after j mains result so basically after end of this month or basically in this month only so you can just wait till then and yeah, that's it for the round of counseling so if you have any doubt you can just comment down below or you can just follow me on instagram and dm there personally as well i try to reply to most of the dms and you can just subscribe the channel as well let's just reach thousand subscribers soon and i'll host the live stream where you can just ask all your queries queries related to thabar basically admission or basically hostel or basically campus life and you can just ask anything and and yes do like the video and subscribe the channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much